Hey everybody, this is your friendly neighborhood gardener, the California Mojave Gardener. How y'all doing today? I know my patio looks bad. It was looking bad already, but we had high winds and it did some of everything. It, it, it really did. Look at that. Look at this down here. I mean, it was doing some crazy stuff. And right now what I'm getting ready to do is use my, all right, Rufus. What's wrong with you? You have to excuse Rufus. But this area over here, I'm going to do my best to get rid of all of that. And, I mean, look at this. Everything just got knocked around. I'm going to do my best to get as much as that dead grass, even over there. So, that is my plan, and I'm just using an edger because... I have nothing else to use. <laughs> so, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get started. I have my neighbor's electrical uh, trimmer. So, we're going to see if this sucker can help. Well, let's start right down the middle. It did like two of ours did. It worked for a second, then it died. What happened was the, oh, I got it all in my shoe too. Oh man. So I guess this isn't gonna work. You can't even really tell where I even went through it. Except right here. But the line recoiled back up in there. That's the same trouble that we were having from, uh, we bought two and we was having the same problem with the box store brand. So I might as well just give up on that. I guess hopefully she'll come out tomorrow 
and we can figure out something. Get this back to my neighbor because all they did was recoil the the line back up in it. So that's not gonna work for me. Yeah, so I was hoping that would work because I was hitting it down to the ground to try to clear out all these rusty dusties down here and over here where it looks like hay. But that didn't work. Now before I set it on fire. Oh, these big black ants are back. Oh my goodness. See that? And it still did not clear it. This area here, I was able to get cleared out. That's just because I set it on fire. I gotta clean up all this stuff that I'm blue everywhere. I'm not gonna do it now because the wind's already starting to blow again. So it doesn't make much sense into trying that one again. So let's chitty chat chat chat. Uh, I even changed my clothes and everything. I was ready. But um if you're having questions about the tomato test that I'm doing. I'm trying to see which one is going to sprout roots when you take a branch off a tomato plant. Because it is said that if you take a branch off the tomato plant, as long as it's healthy and not damaged, that if you stick it in soil, it will start to root. Might take I heard it take a couple of days. Well, or possibly a week or two weeks. Why well, I tried that. Only thing it did do was die. So, I have eight other ways that I'm about to try. Well, I've already commenced it uh, yesterday or the day before, one of those. If you see my video, you would know. So, I have five of them in water and three of them in soil. One is in soil, one is in chicken manure, and one is in seed starter. The other five, one is in CNS17, one is in 511, one is in tab water, one is in standing water where I left out sort of chlorine while the sun hits for a whole day and knocks it gets it helps the chlorine uh I'm thinking of the word in my mind but you know how your mind and your mouth sometimes don't come together it's not on one accord well is it well dissipate that's the word dissipate the chlorine that is in the water and then I have another one that's in standing water but it has an air hose running through it, blowing air into the water to keep it um, oxygenated. Oh, I'll take these words. But we're gonna go in there and take a look. I have some Snack Bell red peppers. They're blushing, yay me. So I'm about to have I think three more, maybe two more. My snap peas, <laughs> I ate every single one of them snap peas. Don't even play with me. So we're gonna get up and we're gonna go over there and we're gonna look at my mess. I have to put that on there because it fell off. Happens. <sighs> and when the wind blows, that's when I start losing my tags. Now this has been sitting up here for almost a month and it hasn't did anything. So I done 
gave up on that. And oh, look. We got a little baby. We got some little itty bitty bitties. These are all the tomatoes that I grew from seed. Ooh, look at those. Hi. Look at these. Hi, they're getting bigger. Now, these here, let me bring them up so you can see them. Aren't these lovely? When they turn a nice, they said you can eat them green, but I'd rather wait till they are red. They are the snack bells. They just keep growing and growing and growing. And these are my leeks. They're getting bigger and bigger, which I'm gonna have to take them out very soon. These have not produced anything, but I do have a blossom. Uh, nothing with the strawberries. So let's check. Oh, I got a strawberry. Y'all better come on, recognize. Recognize somebody who's used to killing things. I kill aloe vera. Don't play. I do. I'm not even going to lie and say I don't. Look at that. And this time, I got a strawberry that is of a decent size. Just needs a little while longer. Look at that. On my other strawberry plants. Oh, what happened here? Well, nothing's really going on with the other ones. Well... This one over here is bloomed. Uh, radish over here, what are you doing? Okay, that's just ridiculous. Look at this. I want y'all to see this. This is the radish. But look, look how small this is. And look how big the leaves are. So, this one is a failure. I'm going to throw it away. I guess it was stunted. I don't know how, but I grew it from seed, so I'm not even going to deal with it anymore. You want to say hi, Rufus? You got stuff on your face. But this girl here, since I pruned her yesterday, she's got more blossoms. So hopefully we can get some cherry tomatoes because I really cut her down from what she was looking like I really 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 honest and truly cut her down this is my lemon cucumbers I have had some blossoms even some down there but I haven't seen anything here's some more that's about to be blossomed I got some blossoms on my sweet banana pepper, which means that's going to be making me another one. I got three, one, two, three of my serrano peppers that should be ready to start producing something. Don't put this out. Don't think I'm sitting up here wasting, spending all this money for nothing. In the background, she been through a lot. She has given me all that she can give me. All of this is still healthy, even down here at the bottom. But I think what I'm gonna have to do is go in, start clearing all these out, because all that's doing is taking the energy from her. I don't want her thinking, 
you know, I can still grow something from this. No, I want her to, to do her last little blooms that she has up there. But, I mean, look at it. It's just breaking off in my hand. I mean, she's been through a lot. She's giving me a lot of beans. This one is done because I can... I can... Where are you? I want to make sure you see... Let me bring you guys in just a tad closer. Okay. Baby girl right here. See the bottom of her? When you squeeze it gently, there's nothing there. No, it's, it's literally just feels like straw. So, I don't know what's going on, but I am going to go ahead and put some more seeds down and see if I can grow some more, because I'm not going to lie, <laughs> these snap peas was good, because I would just come around like this and just see them and just start picking them off. One by one. <sighs> I don't know why it's dry. I mean, it's not dry up here at the top where I'm messing with stuff, but it's dry enough where these leaves are not going to recover. Hopefully, the strength Look at that. The strength of this plant, the energy of this plant, yeah, this one either, will go elsewhere. Maybe it'll give me a couple of more blooms, something. Maybe I can get one or two more beans off before I KO the whole entire thing. I don't know you guys think you think she's done because she's still she's still nice and green up here up top so I'm here to hold her up come in here tomorrow and take a look at her if she looks like she's done for then I'm just gonna I yanked out all the rest of them these are the only two left so if I have to I'll just have to go ahead and take her out and her hopefully she can hang on nice and firm and thick which means she's still getting something up here because she's still green so I'm just cutting off all this dead so she don't try to bring it back to life she can just go ahead and let that energy go up through this is my observation and just go ahead and oh see they go she's trying to give me look at, let me show you where is she at the top see right there at the top she's trying to give me a bean Where is she? Right here. See? She's trying to give me a bean. She's having some difficult, but she, hopefully pruning her a little more will help me out. Help her out. If not, I'll just pull, if I see that they're, if she's dry on the top up here, I'll just pull her out. But I need to go in the house so I can go ahead and oh, I'm going to put more soil in here too. There's not a lot of soil in here. I mean, there is, but there's not. So, I'm trying to I'm trying to get her figured out. Because if you go back and you look at her, let me drop you down just a little further so you can see. All right. She has 
has this much soil but I think I'm gonna go ahead and bring her up some more with some more soil that's my garden things are blooming things are fruiting things are growing things are blushing and things are dying yep that's about the size of it everybody else getting rain and we sitting up here in all this heat and 15 25 uh 50 mile gusts of wind and yeah i gotta do some cleaning my mama from my ministry at church she's gonna come and help me clean up i'm not gonna do this whole thing i don't want her to do this whole thing but we are gonna do that area over there i would say from that little black part right there all the way down to here all of that over there we're gonna knock that out so i can get this greenhouse up well that's an update this is your friendly neighborhood california mojave gardener saying keep trying to grow if you're a first time gardener because i am I mean, when you first start growing, you might get little harvests here and there, but a little harvest is better than no harvest. And I just cut these down last week. And they don't grow back. I just put them in my little makeshift compost heap. That's what all I try to do. Because I was putting them in bucket of water, but I got onions in there too, so <laughs> it's got a smell. So I just check the front and back and make sure there's no aphids. I'm trying to give the power. This don't make no sense. I'm trying to give the power to the radishes and it just wants to keep growing back. All these leaves. And these leaves really don't need to be here. I'm trying to give you some power. And everything I'm trying to give you, you sitting up here making more leaves. Stop making leaves. Now, trust me, these radishes are not big at all. That's why I'm trying in the tops because it was told to me if I clip the tops all the energy for growing would transfer to the root which if you know anything about radishes the root is the radish Not be working. I think I need more dirt in them. This one here, dirt is right here. So I don't know what else to do. If anybody have any ideas, let me know. But don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications of updates. I do them maybe twice a week and maybe we can find out what's going on now my broccoli now it's, broccoli is cold hardy but my broccoli is is growing it's it's literally growing, except for that piece I don't know what's going on. Look at this. What the? It don't make no kind of sense. I'm thinking maybe 5'11 is not a good choice for these vegetables because I'm having a dangle time. 
<sighs> well, again, this is your friendly neighborhood. Look at Rufus. This is your friendly neighborhood. Rough Rider. <laughs> Rufus over there just looking around. I shall talk to you later. And here's my Meyer lemon tree, just to let you know. Oh, she's growing beautifully. Now the 511, it's working on her. She had a dead piece that was up here, about up to there. I cut it off. She only had two leaves. I cut it off. Now look at her. Yes. It's a dwarf. So I'm hoping that it will keep growing to where I have me some Meyer lemons. Yes. This plant cost me $19.99 at Lowe's. So we are gonna see. They say don't give up and I'm feeling a little discouraged and I want to, but I'm not. Cause I will then spend too much money on all that stuff over there just to simply give up. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna make my soil even better cause other people's soil that they make for their potted gardens, their containers might not be right for you. So it must not be right for me. So I'm about to do some more amendments and see what I come out to. Let's go check on the tomatoes, the tomato plants that I'm doing the test on before we get out of here. All right, here we go. These are the eight that I'm doing. 511. C-N-S. 17 I think that's what it's called this one has this is has a, um, a soil mix I made this has seed starter this has chicken manure this one has water that has been standing out in those buckets this is tab water I accidentally dropped some uh, perlite in there. And this is standing water with a pump. And all I did was get the little old aquarium pump from Wally World. And I'm just pumping oxygen or air, however you want to call it. Just pumping that to see how that's doing. Now, let's see. Now, as we can see, the soil prep one is, it's already wilting, and my house is cool. This one in the C, uh, uh, CNS uh, 17 is wilting, and I come out here in the morning, and I just mix it up a little bit and make sure it stays at the bottom. Okay, the 511 is still nice and crispy and firm. Standing water is still firm. Tab water, that's still firm. Let's see, this is the chicken manure. It's flimsy. It's, it's not going to last too much longer. This one is the seed starter still nice and crisp yeah the soil one is about to be the first one that goes and how do y'all like my basil i brought her in house so i can pick pieces off of her so yeah that is the very latest i have so far in my experiment so far 511's doing good the Jiffy starter is doing, the seed starter is doing good. Standing water with the bubbles is doing good. And the tab water that comes straight out your tap is doing good. Everybody else that has fertilizer in there or chicken manure 
they're not doing so good this one's not doing good at all again this is just the soil prep that I put in the soil uh, bone and blood meal with a little bit of tomato tone um, perlite chicken manure this the CNS 17 not doing good uh, let's see the chicken manure is not doing good yeah so we'll see I'll keep you guys updated you guys have a have a blessed day and remember to like and subscribe to your California Mojave gardener I am a first-time gardener and we can go on this journey together peace love and blessings